Good morning, ma'am. Yeah, good morning. Can I have your resume? Sure, ma'am. Yeah, your name is Rujana, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, okay, Rujana, can you introduce yourself? Yes, this is Rujana. I am from Marangal. Currently, I am living in KPHP. My educational qualifications are I have completed my master's degree from SBS group of institutions with 83% and I am having a nuclear family, mother, father, me and my younger sister and my technical skills are having knowledge on code java, I am python and sql and I have knowledge on manual testing and operating system is windows 10 and my project is district level college web, this web provides the information regarding the technical events and non-technical events, technical events includes uh, coding test placements and etc, non-technical events includes cultural fest etc. Uh, and my hobbies are playing games and cooking. That's all about me. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Shrujana. Um, you have knowledge on Core Java, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, shall I ask some questions on Core Java? Sure, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. What is the difference between while and do while? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, the main difference between the while and do while is in while loop, uh, first condition checking will be the takes place. After that, if condition is true, then it will execute. In do while, uh, first one time is con uh, con uh, like a statement will be executed. After that, condition checking will be takes place. If condition is true, then it will be executed for the second time. Yeah. Okay. What is encapsulation? And explain it with real time example. Okay, ma'am. Uh, encapsulation is a mechanism of uh, combining the data and code into a single unit. And the real time example is uh, suppose if we have precious items like diamonds. We need to put them in a locker uh, and lock it with a key to protect them. Same, similarly, in Java, to protect the data, we put them in a class and lock, uh, we can create object to the class. And the main advantage of the encapsulation is data security. Okay. What is the difference between the method overloading and method overriding? Uh, in method overloading, two or more methods can have the same name. Uh, but the parameter should be different and the return type can be same or different. In method overriding, uh, the method's name should be same and the parameter should be same and the return type should, uh, should also be same. Okay. What is super keyword? Super keyword is used to refer to immediate parent class objects. Mainly we can use the super keyword to access the parent class variables, parent class methods and parent class constructors in child class. Uh, okay. What is static keyword? Static keyword is mainly used for the memory <coughs> management. If we use static keyword for the variables and methods, we can uh, they will belong to the classes, not to the objects. We can use static keyword for the variables, methods and block of code. If we use uh, block of code in a class, JVM will first execute the block of code, then we direct, uh, it will execute the main method. Okay. What is multiple inheritance? In multiple, inher uh, multiple inheritance in Java is not possible by using classes. If we want to achieve multiple inheritance, we have to use interfaces. Uh, for example, if we have interface A and interface B uh, with the same abstract method, show method. And uh, to give the method definition for these methods, uh, we need to uh, write the definition in class C. We when we create object to the class C and we can call the show method, the JVM will do not have any confusion. Uh, hence, uh, ambiguity situation will be removed. Okay, what is thread and explain the life cycle of it? Okay, uh, thread is a separate path of execution. Uh, the life cycle of a thread is in this first state is new state. When the thread is created, it will be in the new state. And the second state is runnable state. When thread instance is invoked by using start method, it is in runnable state. Uh, when thread is uh, executing, it will be in the running state. And when thread is waiting for the synchronization, it is in the waiting state. Once thread completed the execution of thread, it will be in the dead state. Okay. What is the difference between the collection and collections? Collection is an interface. It can be provide the methods and it can be used for the data structures. And uh, collections is a uh, class. Uh, it can be provide static methods. It can be pro uh, used for the perform various operations and adding elements to the existing elements, searching elements, and sorting the elements, and etc. Okay, what is exception handling and what are the types of exception? Uh, exception handling is a mechanism to handle the runtime errors. There are two types, checked exceptions and unchecked exceptions. Checked exceptions are checked at compile time. The examples are IO exception and SQL exception, etc. And unchecked exceptions are checked at runtime. 
examples are array index out of bound exception null point exception etc okay what is the difference between the private and public access modifiers uh, private access modifier is accessible within the class only it cannot be accessed outside the class and the uh, public access modifier is accessible within the class outside the class and within the package out, outside the package we can access anywhere okay Shmishna, this is from my side do you have any questions for me no ma'am yeah, okay thank you thank you